My name's John Bishop and this morning I'm out in the wilds, an undisclosed location ready to bring you five beginner tricks to try on curbs. <laughs> Okay, trick number one is rolling off a curb. This is a nice functional one if you're cruising around town, you're gonna to come up against one of these bad boys and you're not gonna to wanna to have to step off. So let's take a look at what we're aiming for. You roll up to the curb, straight on. As you come up, put a little bit of pressure on your back foot, manual the front wheels up in the air, keep it going, and then as you come here, just push forward a little bit with your feet and hopefully land on the back wheels. There are a few barriers to entry and a few things that can go wrong here. Number one, as you come up to the curb, you lose your nerve and you jump off. That's perfectly normal. This may be the first bit of air you ever get on a skateboard, so this could be a little bit exciting. Okay, the second thing that can go wrong, and this is the one you wanna try and avoid, is as you come up, you don't put enough pressure on the tail and the nose digs in and you go flying off the front. The way to remedy that is to make sure that you've got this tail really down. Too much is better than not enough. And the third thing that can happen is as you come up, you get all this correct, but just as you start flying in the air, you lose your nerve and just jump off the board. And that bail is actually quite safe. As long as you get up in the air, you can jump off no problem. Okay, let's give a few a go. A really key tip here is just doing a little hop forward. So as I come to the curb, I'm literally going like so. So you can practice that feeling of just bringing your front foot up and landing on your back foot. That's the motion of just jumping off the end there. Okay, the next trick we're gonna try is the nose stall. Woohoo! So we're going to come up to the ramp, put our foot on the nose of the board, do a little manual, get the nose up onto the kerb, stall, and then pop the back down and come back out fakie. Some of the issues you can have with this one is as you come in, you don't do quite enough manual, so you don't get up on the nose stall and you fly that way. Second thing that can happen is you get into the nose stall, but you've got too much momentum and you keep going and just walk off that way. And problem number three is when you're up in the manual, trying to bring this back in, you need the correct technique. And the correct technique is just to let it come down a little bit and then hop it back off with a little sort of ollie motion. Once you're coming back off fakey, you can do a little 180 to bring it back round to regular. Let's give a few a go. to come with plenty of speed, bend your knees, get that front foot right over the nose. As you hit the curb, bend right down, extend the front foot, but bend the back foot up. And as you come in, give it loads of stamp forwards, just to make sure you make that back in. If you want to pop in a 180, it's just a case of putting a bit of pressure on the tail and then just pivoting on the back wheels. Okay, for our next trick, we've already come down the curb, but what if we need to go up the curb? This one's gonna be the seesaw up the curb, no ollie required. So as we come in, we're gonna do a little manual backwards, and then we're gonna do a little manual on the nose. Foot positioning for this one is gonna be one foot on the nose, one foot on the tail, just so we can come, do that manual, get the front wheels down, and then do our nose manual just to get over the top. Let's give a few a whirl. Three issues you may need to overcome is time in the first manual, staying on the board and committing once you get over the top, and catching the back truck and falling forwards. It's all about the timing.
Okay, next up we're gonna go for the 50-50 grind off of the curb. So we're gonna come in from the top of the curb, we're gonna send the board out, get the back wheel over, and then scissor it off the end. Let's give these a go. A few issues you may encounter is not getting the front wheel hooked over and locked in, not standing up directly over the kerb and overbalancing, and not committing to the scissor off the end. Okay, for our fifth and final trick, we're gonna try the tail stall to tail drop. This is a really good one to do if you want to come off the curb and you haven't got as much speed as actually launching off the curb like we did in trick number one. So let's take a look at the key points. You come along, normal riding stance, not too much speed. As you come up to the curb, do a manual and push your hips and your knees forward. So you get a good tail scrape. As these wheels come over, you can do the tail stall and then simply hop down on the tail drop and ride away. The tail drop is just a case of moving your knees and your hips forward in a jumping motion so that you come off the curb. Let's give a few a go. Okay, it's been great fun being out in the wild trying these five easy curb tricks that literally anyone can do. You should be able to get all these five in one session. Nice and easy, but really fun. So get out there, get amongst it. As ever, my name's been John Bishop and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate.